Okay, match two. Um, got a pretty decent mid-range-ish, you know, type of hand. Um, and hey, you know, maybe we'll start casting some Zodiac Caverns as 2-2 creatures, you never know. Alrighty. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, alright, alright. Well, at least we can play one Relic, and if this is Jund, then uh, these Relics are... These main deck Relics are going to do work, I guarantee you that. I'm not guaranteeing you we're going to win, but I guarantee you these are going to do a lot of work. And I do think, with the main deck relics, I do think we're favored. So that is nice. Ooh, a triple relic? I don't know what we need. I don't know what we need that many. But anyway. Alrighty. This, this, this is Quaif, that's pretty cool. No, it's Ren and Six, but no land to return. Alright, well, I don't think Ren and Six is going to be uh, returning any lands this game. With this many relics. I don't think I want to play, like, all three, though, because then a Maelstrom Pulse just is GG. But I will play out one. And there's a pretty decent chance I'll cycle this. Alrighty. I'll cycle one of them. If they try to Maelstrom Pulse one, I can just cycle that one in response, and then it won't kill the other ones. And with two, I'm fairly confident I can keep them off of any land they want to return with run and six. Alright, uh, Liliana, I assume. Goif, Goify Goif. Goif looks thoroughly unimpressive in this particular scenario. So there is that. Okay, Liliana. Uh, well, I can deal with it. Admittedly, it's not the most clean scenario to deal with this. I think I'm going to discard the other relic. just don't really think. I needed that. Hey, there's the Maelstrom Pulse we were worried about. Yeah, I'm just going to cycle this. I don't think we need this many relics. Alrighty. Oh man, the problem is, is I put myself in a position here where... Well, anyway, let's see. Here's what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to hold up the... Uh, I'm going to hold up the Lightning Bolt. Um, because, like... I got a feeling that whatever they discard with their with their Liliana might actually be more valuable than the land we're going to pitch. Unless it looks like they're emptying their whole hand. In which case, um... In which case I'll just blow the bolt before they can uptick. Okay, well now I don't have to worry about that. That's good. Alright, yep. Yeah. Discard a land. Yep, I mean that's I'll, I'll take it. I think discarding another Lily was a uh, is pretty good. Well, Goif Goif is better with you know now that we have fewer relics, but I still think it's not exactly the best possible card they could have. Um, yeah, I want to just deal with the Lily. So I could, yeah, just gonna work in their graveyard. I just think it's better overall EV. I don't see them having like a ton of planeswalkers in their graveyard, and I'll just uh, work on this one now while I can. And here's a Blood Moon, so hopefully make them a little, keep them a little more under control. And by under control, I mean hopefully completely lock them out of the game. Alrighty. Let's see. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's see. Uh, okay, well that's not that's not a non-red source. So 
I wonder why they didn't uh, uptake the Ren. Was, was there any like downside to doing that? I don't know. Anyway, let's put Obosh to hand because we're not really ready to do much of anything else yet. And each turn that goes by, we're definitely going to. Yeah, if they have Bolt, so like removing Bolt from our own may not necessarily do as much, but. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't do that earlier. Alright, so we're definitely going to remove the land. Only take two damage. We're whittling the Goyf down quite a bit. Okay. Yep, only two. And. This is a ultimate at seven, so yeah, I think we can play the Obosh with relative impunity. Alright, let's see what they can do with uh, only red sources at dealing with this board. So let's see. I think uh, I think the main deck relic is gonna is really like pulling its weight here. Yep, so I remove the lightning bolt. And then the Goyf becomes a zero one as soon as I flash back the firebolt anyway. So but I guess I might as well remove the uh Alright, and preventing the Ren and Six from ultimating seems decent. Alrighty. I mean, realistically, I think even if this ultimated, it wouldn't have it wouldn't have won them the game, given that they can't cast any spells. But you know, hey. <sighs> Okie dokie. So this is where hopefully we get to see the true power of Oblivion Stone. Um, yeah, I think we we want to take out all the one drop prowess creatures. Like they're okay, but they just get killed way too easily by removal spells, so we take them all out, and I think we we want Pillage to help with the Blood Moon plan. Um, Flame Slash, yeah, Flame Slash is iffy. iffy. I think, I think uh, Flame Slash is honestly just better off as, um, as a Pirate Spell Bomb, because the thing about the other burn spells is that they can hit Planeswalkers, and they can go to face, um, you know, and they don't just rot in your hand waiting for a creature, or waiting to get discarded to, uh, to uh, Liliana. Like, Flame Slash definitely, it's not terrible, but it's also, I, I just think Pirate Spellbomb just being able to cycle, I mean, it can, it can like, hit Planeswalkers, but the main thing is it can cycle. So, anyway, let's, uh, let's run this back, and I'm fairly, I'm, I feel fairly good about this configuration. Didn't run any Zodiac Caverns that, that game, but after five mana, there's not much more we can do with the land, so that, uh, it is nice to know that these can be a 2-2 creature. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. See, yeah, Zodiac Cavern actually might not be uh, might not be half bad. Although we're although we we've yet to get color screwed by it, so there is that. Once we see like two of these in our hands and no other lands, we're like, oh, never again. But of course, you know, another way we could look at it is that we might just not have had any extra lands because twenty four lands, obviously. The idea is those are like extra lands. Those aren't like our core lands. Those are those help us get to our third and fourth, fifth lands, so forth. Um, of course, it doesn't always work that way, and sometimes you see those, and those can help out a lot. Yeah, I mean we obviously cut because yeah, because the uh, relic is super strong. It might get discarded, but if it lives, I expect it to do a lot of work like last game. Okay, I expect this to do a lot of work. Hopefully our expectation is not dashed. It's really, really surprising how much Relic actually helps so much against Jund. Because even though they're not like a graveyard-centric <coughs> deck like, like Dredge, it's just most of their cards, they just really rely on the graveyard to make them better than average. Like, most of their cards... Like, Renin 6 is... I don't think Renin 6 is really that great if you can't actually return lands from your graveyard to your hand. And Tarmogoyf is a uh, kind of kind of bad. Like if you if there's like very few cards in graveyards. So um, yeah, I mean, Relic is kind of like a one-sided humility that affects uh, planeswalkers and creatures. It's pretty good if I do say so myself. All right. Um, 
So I guess this means we're going to be on the stomp and then and then play a uh, play giant plan. We could stomp and play the other giant to protect it from uh, from discard, um, but I don't know if we need to do that just yet. Okay, okay. I think we just I think we easily pitch the uh, firebolt and don't bat an eye. Alrighty. Yeah, and I guess we double stomp because we don't want this to tick. It'll tick down if we play the giant, and that seems kind of like a waste. Yeah, I'll just get this out of our hand. I mean, yeah, we could play Firebolt and be cheeky, but let's just let's just get this out of our hand. Plus, fewer cards in our graveyard for Goyf. <laughs> let's, uh, let's see. Let me just uh, no, 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 cycle it. Okay, another one. Um, well, once again, I think never has there been such a clear cut pitch as Firebolt. Let's see. Let's see. We're obviously going to discard the Firebolt. And then we'll lightning bolt, and hopefully we draw land, because then, because then their uptick won't do anything. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, yeah, there's a decent chance whatever they pitch is going to be higher value than than the fireball we pitch. So there is that. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, it's pretty, it's fairly high value. I do say so myself. All right, so let's uh, let's bolt the lily because this way it can't take down if we play the bone crusher if we don't happen to draw land. All righty, hey zodiac cavern, can't uh, can't complain. That will you know like it doesn't actually didn't actually mana screw us. Hopefully that continues. All righty, no point in uh, blowing the Liliana just yet. You know if they got like a removal spell in their hand or something. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we'll still wait because, like I said, um, like if they draw Fatal Push or something, then like it's kind of cool that we force them to discard it. Yeah, and that might be just what happened. Let's see. Whatever it is they have in their hand, it's going to go bye bye. I guess they were so humiliated. Like, oh, no, I don't want to lose my Fatal Push. They got me. I, got, I don't know. Whatever. Um,. Well, obviously Zodiac Cavern won us the game. I'm just kidding. All right, let's see how the next match goes.